Welcome to Mount Cranbrae Apiculture. I'm just going to go through the balance of these hives at Bucker just to um, finish off the assessments, to get everything assessed and, and checked. Um, I've been through all these hives except for this one here and we reduced it to a double, so i um, done all that work. Just wanted to just wanted to go over again how to get into a hive in a, in a non-adversarial way. Um, a lot of the videos I see on social media are very hard to watch. Um, because people opening those hives and it's no fault of theirs but they just don't know what they're doing and it's really bad for the bees and bad for the people doing it as well because they could get really severely hurt. Um, some of the stuff I see just frightens me. So I just want to go through nice and quickly how to get into a hive um, without being stung and how to um, use your smoker in your hive to equip you to go through a brood box. We'll do the assessment at the same time, so just when you start, get, make sure you've got a welded smoker. Get a smoke at the entrance. You need to actually put it in the entrance, not up here or around here. Do the smoke under the lid. Just drop the lid down. And just hold it there for 30 seconds or so. Um, doesn't need to be long just for the bees to suck that smoke in. Pull that lid off. Bump those bees off. Lid over here. It's a little tiny bit of smoke just to push them down. I like to loosen these frames just to lift them up off the clean excluder. Once again, we're just trying to be not adversarial. Going nice and quietly into the hive. Bit of smoke every time you take the super off. Just a little tiny bit of smoke to push them down. I always shake those bees off into the brood box. If the queen's on the excluder, you don't want her in the honey super. So we'll get down this brood box now and um, show you how to manipulate these brood. Back down to the hive, you can see the bees are sitting nice and quietly there. It's still reasonably early in the morning, but the sun's out and shining on the bees, which um, makes all the difference. Little puff of smoke, you don't need to be blasting smoke into your bees. These hive tools have got levers built into them. They don't, they don't look this way by accident. There's, there's reasons for it. So we've got a great, a great lever here. I see a lot of people doing this or doing this or doing this, and it's just no reason. So you've got a great lever here for breaking frames apart. And the other lever that we've got built in that you don't need to use very much is this one this one here. Always be careful if you lever those those frames up like that. Um, the space between the end of the frame and the wall of the hive decreases and if there's bees in between there you'll crush them. So every time you crush a bee they're releasing alarm pheromone. So it shouldn't be a surprise that if you squash 20 bees just pulling the first couple of frames out that they're going to get angry with you. So just need to think about what you're doing when you're going through a hive. So pull this first frame out. Nice and gently. Straight up. You can look at your bees. Nice frame of pollen. Nice frame of pollen that side. <coughs> so you leave that first frame out, it now gives you space to work your hive. Just assessing this hive as I go as well, so that'll be a zero, zero brood. Hive tool, use that angle, that lever, and just pull that frame out like that. Very simple. Lift it up nice and gently and slowly. Hold the frames like you're reading a book. 
you need to swap hands or do something, you can just rest the frame on the top of the hive. See those bees are sitting nice and gently on the frame. Once again, that's, mm -hmm. that's full of pollen. I'm sure the camera can see that. Not an overly strong hive. Little tiny bit of brood in that side. So put that frame number two back in and pull it up nice and tight against the wall of the hive. Zero. Frame three, use your hive tool properly. Pull it out, lift that frame up nice and gently. Using the sun, looking down into those cells. So I'm looking for signs that there's a laying queen, mm. egg larvae, pupae, mm. and um, there's a bit of everything in this frame. The other side, quite a bit of pollen. Mm. Bees are really packing the pollen in this year. This time of year, a uh, little gentle shake to get the bees off. And there's eggs in those cells, so this patch of brood here um, we'll call it give it about 20 percent pull that frame in bring it in nice and tight if there's bees in between these gaps just move that frame until they get out of the way and pull that set that that's that third frame back in without a 20. few bees sitting up and looking at us here so it's a little puff of smoke you don't need to blast the blast them back into the hive frame four so I can see um, eggs larvae and pupae in this frame it's on a frame of plastic foundation And that frame is full of brood, so this whole this whole area is full of eggs, larvae, and pupae, which is good. Larvae are fat, pearly white. The smaller ones are sitting in a nice pool of worker jelly, and the seal cells, nothing sunken or perforated. Really healthy. And the same for that side. So I'll give it a. Good. good solid 60 I think a little bit of smoke just to push those bees down stop them looking at me frame 5 Bees are sitting quietly on the frame, they're not running around. I can see full life cycle of brood in there, eggs, larvae, pupae. Other side, quite a nice laying pattern, pretty tight, uniform. Nothing sunk on or perforated, they look good. Um, so that whole frame is full of brood in the centre. Same on that side. And we'll give it a good, pretty confident 80, that one. That looks good. So once again, I'm bringing these frames back in nice and tight. Gives me that room to work these, this next frame. Using my hive tool correctly. Him up. Once again, nice healthy frame of brood, full life cycle. Using the sun, I can see, look down at the cells, see that healthy brood.
clean cup there. Mm. Larvae in the cells are fat, pearly white. Cap, um, pupae, nothing sunken or perforated. Um, give that a 70. Frame seven. The bees are starting to build up on this edge, so you just gotta push them down a little bit with the smoke. Frame up. And there's a nice solid frame to seal brood. I can feel the weight in it. It's a good sight. Beautiful. Shake them off. Important when you're doing disease checks that you shake all the bees off those frames and make sure that you can see the top of every cell. So a little, a little patchy, and I'd like to see it a bit more comp compact, but that's okay. Cells are convex, nothing sunken or perforated. And the larvae I can see in there are pearly white, fat and pearly white. So I'll give that a good 80. Frame goes back in, pulled up nice and tight, and no bees squashed. important you can recognize the signs that um, bees are getting a bit stroppy so it's still quite early in the morning here I've got bees popping me on the face and I just got stung on the back of the hand there so a bit of smoke to push them down mark that frame next one out frame eight Once again, a nice frame of brood. I can feel the weight in it. Shake them off. And yeah, it's a bit, a bit patchy because there's a bit of pollen spread through it, but um, what's there is healthy. I can see eggs and larvae down in those cells. Um, I'll give it about a 60. So they look really good. So once again, if there's bees in the way, just give them the opportunity to move and put that frame in without squashing them. Frame nine. When the bees are sitting up like that, just a little bit of a little bit of extra space to push them down. That's a beautiful frame of seal brood. Shake them off back on this side. So that's quite a quite a nice solid pattern on a on some plastic foundation. That's good. She's a good queen. A little little bit more patchy that side, but they're okay. Bit of a dummy dummy queen cup there. So we'll give that a good solid 80. Once again, that brood's nice and healthy. Last frame, I'm expecting it to be a frame of pollen. So I'll just pull it out with my fingers, shake them off. And as expected, it's pretty well. See that beautiful range of coloured pollen in there. And there's a little bit of brood in that side, so I'm counting room. So that pollen. So, when you're putting a hive back together, the temptation is for people that haven't been shown is to move each frame like that 10 times, which is pretty laborious and you're gonna squash more bees. So all you really need to do is pull them back across like that. With your thumbs, just push those frames right across. That's how beekeepers do it. Nice and simple, nice and easy on your bees. Last frame, if there's bees on it, give them a gentle shake off. Put that last frame back in. Always tighten your frames up, brace them, and push them up into the middle. 
maintains your beef space and keeps your frames nice and neat and tidy. Push those bees down. Clean this leader back on. Super back on. Find your lid. Mm -hmm. And that's it, another hive assessed.